good morning to you all. You know, we're seeing the lasting effects of Beryl, the deadly flooding that happened in Vermont. At least two people were killed. And a lot of the rivers are still very high. And so you see major flooding here, Lindenville. Now up to Maine, they had up to six inches or more of rain with the remnants of Beryl. Now it's a new system, the stationary front, that's going to bring three or four hours all the way from the Delmarva Peninsula through southern New Jersey, New York City, and Boston even makes it in the elevated risk here. That's for one to three inches falling very quickly. And that's why the flood alerts are out. That heat ridge that has been just terrorizing the West Coast and bringing all-time record highs. It's occurred New Hampshire. We could see records falling. It's going to be a scorcher, guys. Well, those aren't the records we want to break. Right. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for that. To Ginger. One of the many large wildfires burning, this one in Southern California, this has got at least 400 structures and homes threatened. And that one you can see is San Bernardino County. So they're fighting that. In the heat, still at least one more big day. 115 plus in Las Vegas for six days in a row. Today would be the seventh. Smashing records. Let's get you local weather in 30 seconds. Starting the morning in Key West, Florida with some haze and the cloud, the Gulf and the Caribbean as we go through the weekend. So keeping us safe. Coming up here just in time for this hot weekend, we'll have the right stuff with everything you need for your ice cream craves. You know what? We were discussing best flavors. There's some big divisiveness on that. Also, Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds tell us all about Deadpool and Wolverine. And they're super friendship. I can't believe we're going to catch up with them. Plus, Blair Underwood tells us about his scary new movie. So rivers still very high, that deadly flooding from Vermont, but the remnants of Beryl and the areas in New England that are still feeling that half foot plus of rain. So that's where we begin. But there's a brand new storm that's happening, and it's the stationary front, meaning it doesn't move much. And so you're going to end up like this morning, Richmond, Virginia, there's flash flood warnings around there. If you get one of those, don't drive. So today into tomorrow, that area that you see highlighted from Boston all the way down to South Carolina, including New York City, much of all of New Jersey, Philadelphia, Baltimore, and D.C., you could end up with three to five on the southern end, one to three up top, and it falls really quickly. Then that same ridge that's caused all the record heat will feel like nearly 110 as we get toward Tuesday. So this is some of the hottest air, if not the hottest we've seen yet this season. Wow, Ginger, thanks very much. Every single moment, because my kids grab the remote and say, I don't want to watch her. We're at that point. You know what I'm saying? They don't understand what they're going to do. All right, how about we talk about kids? Look at this crayons melting in Las Vegas. But throughout the whole week, they've now had three days in a row at above their old all time. So, of 115 plus, we're going to stick with that heat and a very hot overnight. Only dropped to 98 in North Las Vegas. Let's get a check now. We'll post it at home.